Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwiconcepts.com. In this tutorial, today we will learn how to implement a slowly changing dimension of type 2 using data services in build transform. In this example, we will consider a customer dimension table to be of SCD type 2 with a full extraction from the source table. Let's go direct to the implementation in data services. This is how our job looks like and let's first go to the initialization script over here we have set a few global variables with the values one is the dollar sys date to populate the corresponding uh, load date of the records in our dimension table next we have a date from which is also the starting date of the record that is the record validity start date and we are setting it to the system date next we have a date to which is the effective end date of that record and we will set it to a futuristic date over here we have set it to 31st of December 2015. So, these are a set of three global variables we will be using in our data flow. Next let us go into the data flow implementation data flow for SCD type 2. So, in this case we are having three source table customer tier and address and we are performing a join using a query transform. So, let us see in the from tab we have defined the join the source customer table is performed an inner join with the tier table based on the tier id and later been joined again with the address table based on the address id over here we have performed a transformation with the full address which is a uh, concatenation of the line 1 line 2 and line 3 of the address field apart from that we have set the effective date from field to dollar date from global variable effective date to is equal to the dollar date to of the global variable and the active flag is set to y apart from that the load date is set to dollar sys date next we are using a inbuilt transform in data services which is called a table comparison transform so this table comparison transform is performing a lookup a comparison on the target dimension table with the incoming source schema records. So, we have defined the customer uh, key which is the surrogate key as the generated key column. Next, we are performing a comparison based on the input primary keys over here. We have mentioned the source customer ID which is the source side natural key and the active flag. So, we have passed the active flag as Y. So, it will try to compare those records in our target dimension table where the source natural key matches and that record have a validity uh, as means it has a it is a current active valued record. So, that the active flag will be populated as Y. So, we are going to compare those records. Apart from that in this particular example we are interested to capture the history based on the two uh, attributes of interest one is the status and another is the full address so if there is any change in status or full address we would like to capture those history in our dimension table so based on this transform we will ultimately uh, get a set of records with an operational code as in certain updates based on the comparison performed with the target dimension table with the input source schema let us go back after that we have used uh, another inbuilt transform in data services called a history preservation transform which is used to capture the history of SCD type 2 slowly changing dimension type 2. So, let us go into the history preservation transform over here we have indicated that our target effective date from is the valid from field the valid to is the column effective date to for new records we will put the valid to date as dollar date to which we have set to a futuristic date that is uh, the 31st of December 2050 the old records we will close based on the valid from date of the new record so in order to update the existing record or to mark the closure of any existing record because the new record is coming in and historical changes is coming in. So, in that case we will update that corresponding records valid to date with valid from date. 
apart from that we are using the current flag so we need to indicate which column we are identifying we are setting up as a active uh, flag, current flag column and our column name is active so we have selected this column active and the set value is whenever a new record is inserted we will put the active flag as y whenever a record is updated then we need to reset the value as n and the compare columns of interest are status and full address so after that we are using a key generation transform so based on the records having insert as the operation code we will generate the corresponding surrogate keys for our dimension table so in this case we have indicated that the customer dimension is the table name for the key generation transform next we have defined the generated key column as the customer key the surrogate key and the incremental value as one and finally we have our target dimension table so this is our target dimension table with the few columns uh, to maintain the history that is effective date from effective date to and the active flag and the load date to identify on which date this particular record was loaded apart from that as usual we have performed a little bit of error handling using the overflow file so in case of any insert or update rejection from the database during database writing those errors will be handled and captured in our overflow file let's go back if there is any exception happened during the execution of this job we will handle it in the catch block so we have used a script this script basically prints the error message and the timestamp in the job log and before exiting we want to set the status of this job to terminated that's why we have used the raise exception function call and if everything goes smooth and fine then at the end we are going to check if there is any rejection happened during the database writing if the size of the reject log file if the size of the reject log file is greater than zero then obviously there have been some records those have been rejected and in that case maybe we want to mark the status of this job to terminated so in that case i have used a raise exception and i have put the error message as job fail check the reject file so that's it for the implementation in order to capture the history based on a few key important attributes in this, our case we have considered the status and full address of the customer to be considered as solely changing dimension of type 2 and in this case we have not used any filter because we are considering a full extraction from the source record so thanks for watching this video hope you like this video and if you have any question please visit dwbiconcepts.com thank you